Hello y'all, welcome to our LA vlog series. We are beginning with day one on Saturday, Aaron and I walking to JFK. It was a bright sunny day, lots of noise everywhere, and we were pretty excited to go to Taste of Punjab, one of our favorite restaurants in the area, actually our only favorite restaurant in the area. We definitely need to explore the food in that area a little bit more. Unfortunately, we got there at 4 because Google Maps told us they open at 4, but they actually started operating at 5. So with that time frame in mind, we really couldn't wait for that food and we decided to head off to the airport. However, if you guys are in the area, we highly recommend checking this restaurant out. Their menu is pretty extensive, filled with delicious things. Please don't skip out on the bread and they are open 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. 7 days a week. In Terminal 8, we headed to the Admiral's Club Lounge. Hi, June. Hello. You ready to go to LA? Yes. This is LA, right? Uh, sure, and then we're, we're going home after eating. And Aaron and I had a gander at the food selection. Sparkling water. We found some sparkling water. He found some cookies and marshmallow treats. And a single dinner. That's your dinner? Yes. A single grain. I love it. Yes. Diversity. There, now I have my fruit and vegetable component. I'm so proud of you. Yay. It's food adjacent. And I found some hummus, carrots, and cheese. And may I just say, it is a great disservice to cows everywhere to produce cheese that is less flavorful than hummus. But, you know, the hummus was pretty good. Ready for it? Oh, God. Are we late? As the pros do it, we ran to our flight, waited in no line, and made it to our Lots first class seats. Aaron would like me to mention that we are on the American Airlines flagship first class JFK LAX A321T, whatever that means. Is that a still or a video? You don't do still. Apparently, do some people care a lot about this, so there you have it. My favorite thing to do on these flights is to look at the menu. It is truly a luxury to have a wine list. I chose a port, and after much mulling over, I had to go with that Michelin starred chef's collab. It was a pasta dish, and it turned out to be, well, quite good. I got a tiny pour of the port, and it was very nicely sweet and strong, but balanced, like the ideal burgundy blood red lipstick, just enough crowned sophistication just the right amount of tannic wick at the end of each sip, and spoiler alert, boy does it pair so nicely with cheesecake. Also had a sip of Aaron's champagne, not a fan. The first short film I chose to watch was The Human Voice and a star Tilda Swinton, based on a play of the same name by John Cocteau, and boy oh boy, was it weird. Perfect for fans of well-acted melodrama. I moved on to a movie I didn't complete because of terrible chemistry between the two lead actors, but I had a great meal. The pasta was not exactly al dente, but very enjoyable flavors and colors. I definitely didn't expect to like a pasta dish on an airplane this much, so it was a very pleasant surprise. Smooth ricotta filling, nicely speckled with greens, pesto and tomato sauce background players that outshine the pasta but meld it so well into a flavor party, adding acidity to the creaminess, herbiness to the fattiness. Aaron thought it was okay, but he liked his beef more. Great to each their own. Aaron's beef short rib, a little dry and tough to cut, but all in all, a good homey, welcoming, warm bite all together with the super smooth and creamy mascarpone grits and high shine beer sauce gravy. To give you an idea of how smooth it was, it almost tasted like mashed potatoes to me before I looked back at the menu, so very smooth. You gotta love it when they serve it to you hot on a plane. I think we agreed that the burrata was a star in this meal. It was so rich and slightly chilled. The texture was firm but yielding. The dairy flavor surprisingly clear in the high altitude setting. 
and so wonderfully supported by the brininess of olives, eggplant, and tomato. Not really much of a salad, but just an excuse to eat cheese, which is fine by me. And finally, the dessert. My first cheesecake in almost two years, if you don't count the one I tried to make in Budget Eats, and it was nice but a little grocery store tasting. Not very heavy and dense in texture, the raspberry swirl tasted more gel-like than jam, and the cakey moist crust was nondescript for the most part. I liked it enough to keep eating it, though. Who am I kidding? It's still cheesecake, and I love cheesecake to the end of my days. Every bite more addicting than the last, cutting smooth with that fork, that blunt fork. Unfortunately, that dinner was triply lactose-rich, and my stomach started gurgling. I continued to get inebriated on my port, just in time to watch the witches, which really showed me that I am a witch. I hate children, I hate money, but somehow want to hoard it. Truly, I can make no sense of things any longer in life. For my last film, I chose to watch Judas and the Black Messiah, which if you know at all roughly the story of Jesus, you would know how the story ended. It is based on the life of Fred Hampton. If you try to be a hero, well, you got your work cut out for you. Certainly fascinating to learn about U.S. history from a movie rather than in classrooms, but classrooms were not really built by the people who wanted us to know the truth, so we turned our clocks back, looked out our windows, and boy oh boy, was it beautiful. Stars on the ground. And that was our first class flight, truly a life of luxury. She called you my husband. She says she gave you a lot of something. Yeah, she gave me a goodie bag. I didn't open it up though.